Dairy Queen in Bettendorf has announced they'll be closing temporarily. They join the list of local businesses who have to make changes in the short term. It is our top story tonight. Of course, the cause of the temporary closure is the coronavirus. Local 4's Ryan Risky went out to the Dairy Queen and has more. Ryan? Eric, it was a very difficult decision to close down, but ultimately it came down to the safety of everyone. We took into, you know, factors everything. The public, you know, our, our community, our great customers, the employees, the families of all the employees that we have here. And yeah, tough decision, but we just decided when weighing everything out, it's better to be safe than sorry, and so we'll take some time off. Despite all of the coronavirus concerns, Dairy Queen is still doing well financially and business is great. They're doing drive through only right now, but that hasn't stopped loyal customers as they are still coming in full force. Uh, you know, line for our drive throughs in the street coming from both directions, uh, you know, pretty much the afternoon, especially into the evening. Uh, everything really starts to get busy and stays busy. Uh, we've been closing early at 9 o'clock, but we actually don't close at 9 because the line doesn't stop. We wait till the line stops about 9.40, 9.45 every night. This Dairy Queen has been family owned for 43 years and it has a lot of rich history to it. I'm fourth generation of one of the original families um, in Dairy Queen and uh, fortunate enough that my grandfather was the inventor of the Blizzard machine, which is obviously the product or the machine we make you know, Dairy Queen staple product on. The prototype Blizzard machine is actually on display inside the store. Lindorfer does appreciate the Quad Cities for all of the support over the years, especially during the pandemic. I want to say thank you to Bettendorf, Davenport, the greater Quad City area. We have customers that come from Illinois over to this store. Um, kept us going over 43 years now and have supported us so well through the partial shutdown we are going through right now. They will remain open until 10 p.m. tomorrow night. In the studio, Ryan Risky, Local 4 News.